Second is uh, Makkah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we know about this se seven, like uh, seven heavens. No, no, no. It's, it's standard. It's not a, sorry, we're not very good. No problem. English, no uh, problem. Uh, seven laws of your religion. Seven laws. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so that's like. Um, Five times a day you uh, you pray. Yes. Then uh, that doesn't make sense that I I I, uh, I speak to you about this. So you no, no, it's okay. Look, I don't I don't mind. Woman, how sweet there is. Like yes, it's totally different than the Christian. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. different. Yes. I guess most respect. I don't know. Yes. So our but, treatment of women is different as well. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So. So, so the first thing you mentioned was jihads, yeah? So what have you heard about jihads? What do you think jihad is? I think that this is brutal and that's not really great because this killing people, right? In a name of religion, which is quite understood, but that's not, uh, we are living in 21st century. We cannot kill because of that reason, right? Uh, uh, that's all. Okay, so you're saying because we're living in the 21st century, we shouldn't be killing. Yeah, but, but when you look around, <laughs> look, the latest movie that came out yeah, is called Oppenheimer. Sorry? There is an innocent people because uh, there are uh, like, there are terrorists which kills them and that's... The yes, that's yes, the yes. I, I agree with you, I agree with you. Um, terrorists killing, do you think um, of the people who dropped the atom bomb were terrorists. Sorry? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Yeah. It's fine. So do you believe the people who dropped the atom bomb yeah. and killed the people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, do you believe they were terrorists? Uh, there were countries, so I thought not, but if there are peace people, like, they are killing in the name of religions because they are, in my opinion, stupid because uh, it's totally innocent people. You cannot kill them, right? Yes. Uh, Terrorists are the smaller groups of people. Yeah. Uh, and this was the nation's war, so so I think that's uh, that's different. It's, it's so different. But what do you think about Japan already being ready to surrender, but America uh, okay. still dropped the atom bomb, uh, and then just to show Russia that was the nature of dropping the atom bomb, isn't it? And yeah, yeah, and and also to add in one point. When you're talking about terrorism, yeah. if you check the definition of ch on terrorism, mm -hmm. like the FBI's definition, and you know you check the official definitions, they include state terrorism as well. So countries committing ter committing atrocities can also be likened to terrorism if it's linked to political or religious religious ideology. So that's the definition of terrorism. It includes religion and it includes politics as well. You mentioned that... And I agree with you, by the way. But, right. Yeah, yeah. If somebody kills innocent people in the name of religion, mm -hmm. uh, in the name of religion, in the name of politics, in the name of even something else, yeah. I, I think even if the in the name of, I don't know, a bottle of water or Mr. Bean, I still think it's wrong to kill innocent people. You were going to say something? Uh, you mentioned that uh, Japan was ready to... Uh, to, uh, like, to surrender, yeah. To surrender, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I know that uh, this situation wasn't really that, that clear. Uh, J Japan, uh, like you can know, they, in their culture, in their culture, uh, they're ready to fight uh, to the death. So, so I think that they they really weren't. And United States, um, also, I think that uh, dropping this bomb wasn't necessary. It wasn't necessary, but. Uh, because this was massive, massive killing, you know, that, that's, that's was, yeah. Do you think side effects were catastrophic? catastrophic yeah. yeah. So would you say because it's an unnecessary dropping of a bomb on people, uh, I'm sure you agree, not everybody was guilty. Yeah. Do you believe that's terrorism? Right. That's a tough question. Let me, uh, let me think uh, for a second. So maybe, yeah. okay. maybe you can. Uh, was a uh, dropping bomb at the uh, 
So he said, it's war, so I guess that it wasn't. The thing is, he said that dropping the bomb was unnecessary. Yeah, oh, okay. unnecessary. And he said innocent, you acknowledge innocent yeah, people yeah. died. So under that guise and definition, would you say dropping of the atom bomb was terrorism? So my friend is right uh, because it was unnecessary, but, but it is a war. A war is really a crime because innocent people die. But uh, yeah, it's war. Everything is uh, no. Everything happens at war, right? Right, right. Uh, right. It was a mistake, but uh, it's not that terrorism. Like uh, people are walking here and uh, random. Ah, uh, oh, okay, okay. Them. But yeah. bear in mind, because you use the word terrorism, everyone hmm? knows about war, and no one knows about terrorist attacks because it's so random. And a war, you can uh, run from them. Uh, that's all. Okay, interesting. So there's two points to mention here. One is the actual definition of terrorism. So what you're saying goes against the definition of terrorism. The definition of terrorism includes political, includes um, religious. So that's the first thing. The second thing that you mentioned is uh, individual. It's vigilante kind of um, terrorism. So vigilante is like you said, somebody just does something, killing innocent people. That's the whole, that, that's the own objective. Change my mind, oh. and I would say that uh, it was terrorism because uh, there are innocent people, massive group of innocent people, and uh, never it's right. It, that's never right. Uh, so, uh, but the other thing is that that's uh, really really uh, important to mention that it ended the war completely, uh, and maybe you say was uh, was. Uh, thinking uh, only about uh, their men, their, their people, uh, but because of that bombs, uh, their people would come back to, to their, uh, their houses, uh, you know, and and it would prevent uh, their people from dying. So you, you mentioned a very important point, and that was the point that I wanted to mention, which is dropping the atom bomb is terrorism. Killing, killing innocent people is terrorism. So just like you would say somebody coming and, and doing an attack here is wrong. I agree with you. I think that's wrong. But countries bombing other countries for oil, I, I would say that's wrong. I would say that's terrorism as well. Uh, I'm saying that we just need to be consistent. If you say one thing is wrong, killing innocent people, killing innocent people in Afghanistan, I would say is wrong. I'm sure you agree. In Iraq, you know, children dying like drone attacks. Daniel Hale, he blew the whistle on America saying, and he exposed the fact that the drone attacks in Afghanistan were killing more innocent people and it was creating more um, extremists. They were, more people were becoming angry. So if something gets dropped and your family dies, you become angry. So it, it's very important that, like you said, we're very precise when it comes to war because killing anyone, whether it's somebody that's innocent, whether it's somebody in another country or whatnot, war should be avoided as much as possible. That's, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Islam uh, agrees with uh, killing, but Christianity doesn't, and that's why I support Christianity. Okay, interesting. If you look from the year zero to 2008, there was a study done by Naveed Sheikh. It's a quantitative study looking at who killed or which religion was the cause of more people dying. Christianity was 178 million from zero to 2008. Islam or Muslims about 37 million. Yeah, but it is uh, terrorism is like uh, from Iraq or something like that. It's coming to Europe, but Christianity is happened like probably Nigeria, right? Something right there, which uh, there are some wars uh, because of religion in the so. But here we are, here are, it's not uh, necessary, right? Let's go back to the point that you said. You said, I support Christianity because Christianity has resulted in less deaths. Uh, in I've just proven to you that Christianity has resulted in more deaths. Yes, but these yes. people which doesn't listen to Bible, uh, they are doing it on their own. Uh, but Muslims uh, agree that killing people is okay in a like jihad. Uh, okay. Let's say something. So, so can I just answer his one yeah, point yeah? Because he's made a, you've yeah. made a point. So when you say 
is Muslims believe that killing people is okay. Let me tell you a verse of the Quran where it says to kill one person is is as if you have killed the whole of mankind. Yeah. So that's what Islam says in, in its text. Now, can you tell me where you have come across where we're told to kill innocent people? Uh, in jihad? Jihad, by definition, doesn't mean killing innocent yeah, but people. People think that it mentions. But like you, but, that, but like you yeah, said, but in Christianity they don't do that because mm -hmm. there isn't any knowledge about this, about killing people. That's that's wrong. Well, I can tell you a place in the Bible. I can tell you a place in the Bible where it says, "Take the people, the Amalekites, put their heads against the rocks, kill donkeys, kill children, kill women, kill all of these people." So if that's if you if you want to take a verse out of context. I can do that. There's no verse. Yeah, yeah. There's no verse in the Quran right, that says that says take the heads of babies and smash them against rocks. That kill, uh, you know, women. Do you see? Uh, but but a Christian, like you said, no. But they're bad Christians. Some Christians. Are, I can say the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> about Muslims, the yeah. door swings both ways. There's, you know. Uh, part of tree which includes the uh, jihad. Christianity doesn't have that, and that's why my point. So, uh, yeah, uh, jihad. Quite accessible. Christianity, Christianity may be, may perhaps have uh, this note about killing uh, right animals and perhaps humans, women and children. Yeah. It's mentioned in the Bible, but it's it doesn't uh, mention that we should do this at this time. There is a note that it doesn't mention that in the Quran either. You've just taken one word, that, jihad. Uh, that there is a note that uh, uh, treat uh, your brother treat. Uh, I am patient, no worries. Treat stranger like your brother. In the Quran, I don't know if that's uh, that. Yeah, so in the Quran, in the sayings of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the respect and the, the safeguarding that we need to give to non-Muslims living in Muslim lands, that's why at the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, Muslims, Christians and Jews would live together in harmony. Today, if you go to Egypt, there are such things as Coptic Christians, meaning Christians that have been there since the beginning. So if Islam was intolerant against Christians, today we would not have Coptic Christians. You would find loads of instances in the Quran or in the Hadith where Muslims are attacking Christians and Jews. However, you have people like Maimonides, who was a high ranking Jew. You had people that one of the wives of the Prophet, peace be upon him, she used to be a Jew as well. And there were Christians living in the areas. In fact, when Muslims were ruling, uh, in fact, Christians would seek the help of Muslims when they would be oppressed. Case in point was Spain. King Roderick was harming the, the Christians and the Jews. And then they went to the Muslims and then Tariq bin Ziyad took an army and then went over. And again, this is in the books of history as well. So the point that I'm trying to say is when you say jihad, firstly, the definition of jihad doesn't hold up because jihad by definition doesn't mean killing innocent people. There's this criteria of fighting. Yeah. And the criteria, one of the criteria is not to kill innocent people. In fact, whenever an attack happens, you will not find one of the mainstream Imams saying that it's it's OK. And no one, for example, you can give me a verse. You can give me evidence to say that in Islam is allowed. I don't know if I remember correct, but there was a note in this jihad. I don't know uh, that which includes that uh, you can. Uh, Uh, but can mm, people which do not believe in jihad uh, take on uh, jihad without by killing them because they are not believing? I don't know. How, I don't. I forgot the word. Uh, okay, then why why would you say Muslims are not killing people? Why am I standing here speaking to you? Why am I not killing you? <laughs> because that I should is... be following my book. My yeah. book says kill people. Okay, I would but... be killing people. I have a question. What is your definition of innocent people? That, that if you uh, you are not killing innocent people, so what's the definition of? 
Ooit. In Jihad. Yeah, read for him this verse. Read the first one and skip off. Yeah, so I gave you one verse already. I'll give you another one because right. the brother is. Allah, Allah does not forbid you from dealing kindly and fairly with those who have neither fought, i.e. people that have not fought against you, nor driven you out of homes. So if somebody fights you, or takes you from your home, or takes your land from you, then you shouldn't be fighting them. Yeah, causing corruption. Um, and that's the thing, just give it back to the brother, yeah? So the point is, can you give me an instance, you said a book, I'm telling you the book of all books. The Quran doesn't say kill innocent people. The sayings of the Prophet do not say kill innocent people. The behavior of Muslims don't say kill, kill innocent people. You see certain people, the people that do say that, we condemn those people. We say they shouldn't be doing that. So then my question to you is, is it in Islam or is it in their heads? <laughs> Yes, your brother is right. He's your brother, yeah? Your friend, friend, yeah, yeah. He's right. Because if it doesn't mention in our books, if it's not mapped in our behavior, then how can you say that this is something that we do? That's the first thing. Secondly, even when you look at Iraq, yeah, the war in Iraq, you know Iraq, yeah? Before the invasion, there was not a single suicide attack. Before America's invasion in Iraq, there was not a single suicide attack. This is mentioned in a book called Dying to Win. The whole book is just data, 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 analysis, analysis, analysis. Yeah. Before the, the Jews, or before the whole Israel-Palestine situation, the Muslim, Muslims and the Jews lived amicably at the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him. In fact, Karen Armstrong says in her book that after that whole Israel and Palestine thing happened, that was when the Muslims started importing anti-Semitism just so they could, you know, combat this. I think there's something called the Scrolls of Zion or something like that. So the, my point goes right to the beginning. Politics. Yeah, politics is the reason and that's the reason a Karen Armstrong, somebody that used to be a Christian, she's no longer a Christian now, according to my knowledge, she's written a book called Fields of Blood and that's the academic response that she brings forward, that things are done because of politics. So you give me one example where a Muslim will just kill someone for no reason. Does a single example come to your mind? As terrorism attacks around the world, I don't know. I don't because, <laughs> no. But we don't have exact examples. Yeah, I, I will tell you, Whenever you, and do this when you go home as well, yeah? When you see the reason, like normally they have a manifesto, they write something. They will say, this is the reason why we have done this. Normally they will say, what you've done to our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan, or in Iraq, or what's going on in Palestine. They will give political reasons why they're doing this, yeah? You can correlate directly with, for example, even Sri Lanka, when this was going on in Sri Lanka. There's something called Tamil Tigers. They were doing suicide bombings. Cath Catholics, they were demonized in Ireland because again, there was a political war taking place, but religion had been hijacked and it was turned into Protestants versus Catholics. Yeah, we, we've been seeing this since time immemorial. Yeah, it's oh black people or this. No, the issue there was slavery. It wasn't blacks because blacks weren't the only slaves. Indians were also taken as slaves as well. So the point here is when your home gets taken from you, when, you know, there's an army that comes and attacks you, that will cause you to defend. Like, would you say what Ukrainians are doing? Would you say what they're doing is terrorism to Russia? Uh, and it isn't. It isn't. Is it? Would you say what Palestinians are doing to Israel? Would you say that's terrorism? I don't really know. Ah, you see, you see, but Israel and Palestine has been going on longer. Ah, but the thing is, Palestine, their land was taken from them. And even now, if even a, if a person argues, no, no, it was like this and it was like, no problem. But the settlements, the Western support of Israel, the war crimes being taken place, Amnesty International, 
the, you know, the human rights organizations that even Western countries accept, but the average individual, they won't know. Yeah, the average individual wasn't known. It's just an example. Yeah. So my point is, the Quran doesn't say kill innocent people. The Hadith doesn't say kill innocent people. Our behavior doesn't say kill innocent people. When you look at politics, the psychology, the data, yeah, the academics, all point of the correlation between politics and killing. Yeah, because when even ISIS, you have people that were there, they said they were not religious. They were politically motivated. They were politically motivated people. Then the people went that joined them, they didn't. Okay, MI5 in this country. You heard of MI5, yeah? Sorry? MI5. The security services. They, they protect the country. There was an article where one of their chiefs, this was in The Guardian. Yeah, MI5, I think it was in like uh, 2008, if I'm not mistaken. They said, or he said rather, that the people that commit these attacks have less understanding of religion, not more understanding of religion. So this is me giving you more evidence that it's people that have less understanding of religion. They see their brothers and sisters being attacked, they get angry. So when it comes to Christians, no Christian country is being invaded at this moment in time. There's no war against Christianity. However, in Qurtuba, the Muslims were uh, ruling. That's why you had in Christianity, there was something called the Martyrs of Cordoba, where they would go with this intention that we would be martyred for our religion. So again, we're seeing a similar thing for political and for, you, for the defense of your people or your nation or whatnot. Yeah, so that's, that's the point. Then the second point you, you said, do you understand what I've said so far? Yeah. If you have something to say, I don't mind. You can see. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. It's been scientific from the beginning to say that uh, Christians were uh, are uh, like on the, on the top of the list uh, mm. for, for killing, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that, um, yeah, sure, there was mass in killing uh, in Christianity, but this was in uh, probably medieval era. It's not like the modern problem in the world. Uh, that was like uh, in the past eras, so yeah. But when the Christians were killing, if you were alive at the time of the Christians, that would be the modern era for you. Yeah, I know. It now, was, you're alive now. That's not, that's not a problem of modern society. Of the I, I would say the problem of modern society is much, much worse. Because uh, as an atheist, would you say you're an atheist? Maybe. Okay, so as an atheist, you cannot prove good or evil objectively. You can't say this is this is good, this is bad. Yeah, nothing is black and white. Yeah. Exactly. So if you can't if you can't even prove something is good or bad, I think that's more dangerous, and that's the reason why, say, an atheist can't say, and correct me if I'm wrong, an atheist can't say that if a sister, how old are you? 14. You can cover your ears, yeah? So if a, if, a, if a sister was to have sex with her brother using contraception, an atheist can't say that's wrong. It's okay. So. <laughs> Do you see? An atheist, it's a challenge. No atheist can come and tell me that that's wrong. Because they will say, no, 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 it's something that causes harm. But they're wearing contraception. You see? So a brother and a sister, the contraception. Can you prove through atheism that's wrong? Can you prove through atheism that having sex with a dog is wrong? <laughs> you can't, you see? So right. if we're talking about modern, modern problems, I it's, see you, I yeah. see and, and even as we're living in the modern era, you know the problems of modern era? We don't know what a woman is. We don't know what a man is. <laughs> yeah. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. But as a Muslim, I can tell you what a woman is, what a man is. I can tell you, look, if there is a child in the mother, sorry, if there's a child in the belly of the mother, to abort that child is wrong. But somebody would say, no, 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 no. My body, my choice. They will say this. But we say, no. 
what ask the child it's their body their choice as well why are you killing the child and ask the father ask the person that you've consummated with so the point that i'm trying to say is a modern era modern society if you want to open that pandora's box we're going to be in problems yeah just hold this please, bro. just put that back please so we have to go because we okay. are in a larger group because okay okay thank you very much no 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 thank you for you know you know what <laughs> i need it back now uh, take this and oh, and and thanks. yeah so and and take my challenge i think uh, maybe he's a bit upset um but take this and look everything that i've said there were cameras here yeah you can check afterwards it will be online and yeah. check this book if there's anything of us saying kill people be you know like this to christians jews or this or that then you can come back to me you can message me on social media and say you're a liar Yeah, yeah. Uh, where I do, uh, where, where can I watch it? So you can uh, just Sam Dawa, S A M. The the Yeah. yeah. The, the Wait a second. Because everything I say, I, I have researched, I have checked, I come here, so I would not lie to you. You can check, and in the comment section, say he's a liar. Hmm? <laughs> call me a liar. If I'm wrong, call me a liar. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Sam, S-A-M, and then Dawa, D-A, D-A, W, W, A-H, A-H. Yeah. So that will have the full discussion on there, yeah? So Thanks. take this. This is my, this is the best right. gift I can give, I can give to you. And uh, hopefully if you come back one day, we can have another conversation. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you for And I hope you enjoy London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you as well. I was looking at, you know, you listening and engaging. I wish you, you know, the best as well. And thank you for listening. And hopefully you come back one day and we can have another conversation. Have a nice day. Yeah, have you a nice too. Day. You too. You too. Bye. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Welcome. Salam. Are you doing good job? Jazakallah. Hello, would you? Salam alaikum, young man. How are you? What's your name? Adam. Adam. Mashallah. Mashallah. Oh, have a good day. Yeah. Salam alaikum. Salam. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm all good, man. Is the Ali here? I don't know, I don't I've know. He might come later on. Okay. Brother, how did you get on with the... Um... The... the...